Hey everybody, Desert Guardian here, and today we have something brand new to show you from Smith & Wesson. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Alright, so we have the brand new Smith & Wesson. M&P 380 Shield Easy. So we'll go ahead and set that aside. See what else we've got in here. So we've got a spare mag, lock, a uh, little tool. All your books and papers are in here. So everything you'd expect to find with a new handgun. We'll go ahead and set the box aside here. And we'll take a look at this new pistol. So here it is. This is the Smith & Wesson M&P 380. 380 Shield Easy, so a nice long name, but let's break that down. So it's a it's a Shield series, so it's a, a concealed carry, um, single stack, small light pistol. Uh, it's the military and police, the M&P line. It's 380 caliber, um, and they call it Easy for several different reasons. So um, let's talk about the meat and potatoes here. So like I said, it's an eight plus one capacity. Make sure it's clear. So you got your you got two mags that are eight plus one single stack, um, runs just over six and a half inches long. Uh, it's got a three point six inch barrel or three point six seven five, so almost three point seven inch barrel. Uh, weighs about eighteen and a half ounces, so it's lightweight. It's small. It's thin. It's it's a, a, a concealed carry piece, definitely, um, just like the rest of the shield line. Um, now, why do they call it the easy? Uh, several reasons. It's got an easy to rack slide. Uh, it's easy to shoot. It's easy to load. It's easy to tell what's going on with this pistol. So it's got a very specific shooter in mind when they put this together. Um, I've been on the internet. I've seen all the naysayers saying, oh, grip safety, ooh, 380, oh, yuck, you know, whatever. You know, hey, if it's not for you, don't get it. <laughs> but there's a lot of people that this is great for. Uh, and, and we'll get into that. But let's take a look at some of the physical attributes of the gun. So like the shields, or like all the other M&Ps, it's got the, the kind of a wavy serration here, which has a really good grip when you're racking the slide. Um, this is a, an internal striker-fired pistol. Uh, it does have a Picatinny rail up front, some front serrations there. Uh, this one does have the optional ambidextrous safety. So that is, uh, that's an option. You can get it with or without the safety. Uh, this one happens to have the safety. It does have a reversible mag release also. This one's set up for right-handed. Um, this has the 2.0, the M&P, you know, they had their first generation and the 2.0 had a, a, a nice uh, aggressive grip to it with this center pad here uh, now has grip also. So this is, you know, considered a, a 2.0 grip on this and it says 2.0 right there. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's, Every bit as pretty as the uh, the, the rest of the M&P series, and I've got a I've got a bunch of them here. We'll compare them to, um, but let's talk about you know the elephant in the room. This one has a grip safety, so there's several parts of this gun that are specifically designed for new shooters, young shooters, people with small hands, uh, people that are looking for something that's more comfortable for them to use than uh, than uh, you know a full size. Um, I mean, there's a huge difference. There, there's your, there's your 380, and here is the, the, the daddy of them all. There's your 45 2.0. So this is a double stack 45. I mean, it's taller, thicker, longer, considerably heavier. So this is designed for one shooter. This is designed for another. Uh, so say you're um, a, a first time younger shooter, um, and you need to focus on things like high and tight grip, and maybe you don't have the most grip strength in the world, so that's where the easy rack slide comes in. But the, but the grip safety is great, because this is something that trains you to hold a pistol the right way. I was raised on the 1911, so I'm used to a grip safety. You know, that's where I learned that your grip needs to be up and in, high and tight. Um, and that's exactly the concept behind this. We're trying to make sure people do this right. Um, you know, everybody's seen the Hollywood movies where you've got the, the tough cop and he's so good at his job and he never misses when he shoots a bullet and he holds a gun like this. <laughs> you know, I mean, we want to be up and in, high and tight on that grip. And this will train you to do that if you're a young shooter or a new shooter. Um, the other really prominent feature on this that they're, they're touting is the easy rack slide. 
So being a 380, your recoil spring, uh, which you know puts resistance on the slide rack, um, is a little bit lighter. It's not for a 45, it's not for a nine millimeter, it's for a 380. So it, in and itself, is gonna be a lighter rack. But the Easy Rack slide has something else. Hopefully you can see this. It has these two little ears that protrude out in the back. So that's something that's gonna grab your fingers really easy, no matter how you grab it. Um, and that's part of the Easy Rack slide. So it is a very light pull. Very light pull, very easy to grab, and very easy to grasp with these little ears on the back. So that's the easy rack slide. So that's, that's two things for a, a young shooter, a small shooter, or a new shooter that are going to be imperative in uh, keeping this a positive experience for people that want to learn how to shoot correctly. Um, being able to rack the slide without you know, any hesitation or fear and being able to have a correct grip on it. Now, the grip safety on it is actually really effective. Um, if you're holding it loosely, not gonna go off. If you're holding it low, not going to go off. If you're high and tight, there you go. That's where you've got it. And this has the 2.0 trigger in it, or what they call the 2.0 trigger. It doesn't have the, um, the hinged trigger. So let me show you. So we'll go back to the, the 45 here. So here is the, the 2.0 45. You see how it's got this hinged trigger because it has the safety in the trigger right here. So without the trigger, without the hinge being flexed down, this trigger won't go back against the frame. It locks itself in place. So in lieu of the hinge trigger with the trigger safety, this has the grip safety. But Smith & Wesson um, has put a lot of work into their trigger since the, the essentially the 1.0, uh, which I've got one of those over here too. Uh, it, it does have a crisp break. I mean, it's very crisp. Reset, break. So it's a nice crisp break in it. Let me, let me I said I've got a, a version one to show you. So let me grab that one, clear it. So this is the M&P 9. So this was the first iteration of the M&P autoloader. Um, and as you can see, it does not have that center pad uh, stippling, factory stippling, the, the grip there, uh, like it does in the 2.0 series. But let's take a look at this trigger. So this trigger, there's your take up and your brake. But watch that brake again. Watch that brake. It kind of, it's got a little bit of a mush to it. A lot of that has gone away in this new one. Um, so let's show you the reset. You don't hear it. You don't have that. I mean, I guess you kind of do, but you're not going to hear it when you have any ear protection on. Not like, like the 2.0 series. There it is. So, um, so that's what what Smith and Wesson's been going after on their 2.0 series triggers is making sure you have that audible and tactile reset on it. You want to know what's going on with what's going on and with what you have in your hand. Um, all right. So a few other things about it. No, another thing they say is the easy is you have these single stack 380 easy to load magazines. Um, it's kind of harkens back to the old 22s where you have this little uh, dot that you can pull down and drop your bullets in. So you're not doing the, let's see, where do I have a, so you're not, you know, pushing with your thumb, pushing the bullet in, sliding it back. So it, once again, back to somebody with smaller hands that doesn't maybe have the finger strength, the grip strength of, uh, you know, somebody my size. This just makes it an easier way to learn and respect a firearm. You know, there's a lot of people out there that and and my wife is one of them. She's she's five two. She's got a little frame on her. Uh, that's her M and P nine over there. But um, when she was learning to shoot, she would pick up some of my pistols, try to rack the slide, and she had to put a lot of effort into it. She also had to put a lot of effort into loading some of the magazines when they're new. Uh, she's used to it now. She's uh, she's uh, <laughs> way better at it. Um, but that doesn't mean that everybody is. So this is something that's kind of designed to bring a good you know, self-protection, home protection, carry pistol to the masses, people who do want to learn, but maybe have been intimidated by stuff. Um, and that's where this one comes in. So a couple other things about it. We talked about the, the safety on it. It also has a loaded chamber indicator, which is right here on top. When there is a round in the chamber, this actually sticks up a little and you can feel it with your finger. 
So it's visual and tactile uh, for the loaded chamber indicator. Um, rear sight on it has a windage adjustment, comes with the tool to do that. Uh, it has the 18 degree grip angle, which is uh, determined to be an optimal grip angle. Um, it's easy to take down. You know, we can show you how to do that. We lock the, lock it open. Got your switch to flip down here. Oh, and then they reach inside. Oh, no, we just, there we go. See me pull the trigger? I do that because I'm used to doing that. With this one, it's not necessary to pull the trigger. So let's go back again. There you go. And we will put it back together. So we'll do this the right way. Lock the slide open, flip the switch down, and it comes off. So no need to pull the trigger like you would in a Glock or I do in my other 2.0s. Um, now one interesting thing about this is I think I mentioned that it's a striker fired, but it's actually an internal hammer fired pistol. And that's one of the reasons why you have the crisper break on the trigger. See this right here is a hammer. You look on the inside of the, so you've got this big vacant space here. And there's where you adjust the windage on your rear side and that hammer hits this striker right here. So instead of being a true striker fired pistol, it's almost like a hybrid. It's an internal hammer fired pistol. Um, so it, you know, on a 1911, you've got your grip safety and the hammer hangs out the back and flops forward when you pull the trigger. This one's actually encased in the slide and the frame. So it's an internal hammer fired. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I'd be interested to see if more people go to this style of internal hammer fire just to get a better feel out of the trigger. Um, you know, I, I don't know the science behind it. I don't know why they chose to do it that way because, you know, even in their current shield series, which I have one here. So here's, here's a 45 shield. Uh, this one is essentially a true striker fire. Um, it doesn't have an internal hammer uh, in there. So that's another kind of a difference here for that 380 easy. But yeah, easy to take down, easy to clean, easy to maintain. I mean, you've got your trigger, your trigger bar, your hammer. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's all there. It's all right in front of you. You know, we've got that three and a half inch, just over three and a half inch barrel. Drops in, recoil spring drops in. And, you know, like I was saying, the recoil spring on a 380 is fairly light duty, which, adds to the easy to rack slide. So pop that guy back in, we'll put it back together. There we go. So yeah, I mean, it's easy to rack, easy to shoot, um, trains you to do it right. So that's the uh, M&P 380 Shield Easy. So nice little pistol. Does have the rail up front. I do like that. That's pretty cool. So a lot of the, you know, you take the, a lot of the subcompact carries like the Shield, uh, 9 and 45 and 40 uh, don't have a rail up front. You're you're limited to something that'll clamp on to your trigger guard uh, if you want to put accessory up front. Same with the Glock 26. Glock 26 is the same way. There's no accessory rail. But this one is a subcompact, lightweight, with an accessory rail on it. So here I've got a uh, uh, Inforce APLC. Nope. Slides right on. And fits. I mean, that, that actually looks really sharp on this. And you can see how thin the uh, the 380 Easy is compared to the APLC. The APLC fits like a glove on like a Glock 19. It's, you know, about an inch wide. Uh, but this is a lot narrower frame, so the, the APLC actually sticks out a little bit on each side. Um, but still, great fit on that APLC. Uh, and, and having the, the option to run something with a rail... <laughs> is a lot nicer than being limited to only a few that maybe attach onto the uh, uh, the trigger guard. So, yeah, so that's it. That's the uh, the M and P 380 Shield Easy. I, I'm actually really impressed with it. You know, eight plus one capacity, great size. I mean, 18 ounces. That's that's a lightweight little concealable pistol. Um, and it, like I said in the very beginning, it may not be for you, but there's a lot of people that this is going to be great for. It's a great looking pistol. It's reliable. It's, you know, every bit of the M&P series, um, you know, and if this is any indication how I feel about them, you know, there's my 45 shield. There's my full size 45. 
there's my wife's nine. I mean, I, I think the M&P series is awesome. They make a great, reliable pistol, and they fit so nicely in my hand. Um, you know, and you know I have Glocks and 1911s and revolvers and oops, wrong one, and uh, all kinds of stuff. But the the M&P line, well, like I said, it fits well. It's a nice fitting, nice shooting pistol, um, and this is going to be no exception. I mean, with my larger hands, it actually fits me pretty well. So I can get all my fingers on there. Um, I love the, the, the roundness of the grip. Um, everything is really easy to reach. And I mean, you, you see the, the slide release, I'm hitting it almost at the knuckle on my thumb. So if I was a small person and I had my grip right on there and had a short thumb, I'm still going to be able to reach everything. And that's that's part of the design of this. This is for those smaller, younger, you know, newer shooters. Um, you know, I, I work with somebody that weighs about 97 pounds and is tiny, and this is the type of pistol for them. You know, they're not going to be walking around trying to conceal this guy, trying to figure out how to rack that slide with a lot tighter spring in there um, without the little ears on the back. You know, it's, uh, it's a pistol with a purpose. And I'm kind of impressed with it. Um, would I carry this as my everyday carry? Yeah, maybe. Why not? You know, um, it's going to be reliable. It's going to have the lifetime service guarantee from Smith and Wesson. It's got the Armor Knight finish on it, which is super tough and corrosion resistant. It's a great little pistol. And you know, uh, I'm kind of excited because uh, Ted's shooting range just got this in stock, but they also got a second one that's in the rental fleet. So I'm actually going to go up there and and grab it and put some rounds through it and maybe put that on film too, just so people can see um, how it shoots. You know, I'm, I'm not afraid to. Not afraid to shoot a little 380. <laughs> so, uh, hey, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about the M&P 380 Shield Easy, just fire away below. Um, you know, I'll get back to you if I can. And uh, check out the links. I'm going to put some links into Ted's. Uh, so if you wanted to buy one of these and have them shipped to you, you can. Or, you know, if you wanted to talk to somebody at the range, find out how, how they shoot, uh, whatever you need. I mean, they're they're uh, local to me here in Arizona, but they're a, a great shop with great people and uh, can ship anywhere in the world. So, or I should say anywhere in the country before I put my foot in my mouth there. Um, but yeah, there it is. M&P 380 Shield Easy. Great little pistol if you're just learning or if you've got small hands, or if you just choose to have a, an easy to shoot, lightweight 380 for, for home protection, for concealed carry. Um, like I said, questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. Check out the links, and hey, hit, mash that subscribe button for me, will you? Uh, it's important to have you guys on there subscribed. Uh, we're trying to build this up and, and bring you videos uh, at least once a week, maybe sometimes twice a week, maybe every other day sometimes, just to keep you guys informed of the latest stuff that's out there in firearms and accessories and uh, everyday carry goods. So, And also, if you have any suggestions of something you'd like to see, hey, you can leave that in the comments too. I don't mind. If, if I can do it, I'll do it. If I can't, I won't. So... Um, there you go. M&P 380 Shield Easy. That's it for now. Desert Guardian, out.